Hey everybody, Jennings Brower with Pond Megastore here. Today we're going to go over the important steps of how to take care of your water lilies once they arrive. Two of the most important things is keeping them wet from the stems, the roots, and the underside of the pad the whole time after you pull them out of the box. Number two, it's very important to find a shady spot on the side of your house where you can keep them in pond water until you're actually ready to plant them in your pond. So the first thing you do is you open your package. Make sure to check your plant as you open it up. If anything seems to be damaged or sickly, give us a call immediately so we can help fix the order. Now it's very important because a few people make a mistake to not keep the roots, the stems, and the underside of the pads on the water. A lot of people put the roots in and the bases of the stems and then just let the plant hang out. That's not very helpful. Now as you all can see, part of the plant wants to protrude out of the water. That's okay. What we're going to do is take this paper or some wet newspaper and lay it over the top. That way it's got a little bit of nice weight. It's not gonna be completely crushed into the water. But this way everything stays moist and covered. And obviously we're shooting in a sunny spot so you all can see everything, but make sure it's in the shady side of your house. So now what we're gonna do is show you all how to plant your tropical water lilies in sand. However, we do have a separate video of how to create your own loam soil so that you actually know what to plant it in when the time comes. Now it's very important to remember, when you plant a hardy water lily, the rhizome grows horizontally and you want to plant it towards the edge of the pot. With tropical, however, it is okay to make a hole right here in the middle, right smack dab. For the rhizome to go straight down in the middle. Now as I bring this over, we're going to place our roots down here. But something that's very important to remember is that we do not, we do not cover the crown, which I will show you, is right here in the middle where the roots become part of the stem. We do not cover that with our loam soil. We do that so that these little guys right here aren't blocked from coming up to the surface and growing into a beautiful looker, which is what you want in your pond. Now, we highly suggest that you plant this and you place the pot down in six to 12 inches of water. We do that because a lot of the plant has air bubbles and if you plant it any deeper than that the pads will be underwater and it'll pull the plant out from the loam soil and it'll flow to the surface. Now speaking of air bubbles even though we're planting it in a shallow area we do not want to weigh the roots down with stones as that can kill the plant and it can also make it very hard for it to grow. You can use sand unlike our example here to weigh down the top because then the flowers and new stems will be able to push their way up through that sand. Now when it comes to fertilizing, you want to fertilize your plants the 1st and 15th of every single month. We suggest getting Water Lily World Fertilizer, which you can find conveniently on www.pondmegastore.com. If you fertilize these correctly throughout the growing season, you will have these beautiful flowers every single day. Once again, you guys, my name is Jennings Brower, and along with Pond Megastore, we thank you for checking out this guide to how to plant your tropical water lilies. Make sure you all check out our next video, how to plant your hardy water lilies, to be able to see the difference between the two planting styles. If you ever have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below, send us an email, or give us a phone call, and as always, check out www.pondmegastore.com. That is it for us today, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.